Now, last week we had three days of uh, really aggressive vaccination drive. Seven, uh, seven plus million uh, shots delivered. Hindi po, hindi na po biro yan. But we're, re we're preparing for another three days. What did we learn from the first round? A lot, a lot. But what I can tell you was it was really successful. And every time I think about that and look at the pictures of those who really helped, talagang kikilabutan po kayo. Biruin yung sa tatlong araw, eh, naka 7.6 million po tayo. Nung nag-extend pa po tayo ng another two days, we were able to achieve 9.9 .9 million. Mm. So kung uulitin po natin to, ang mga natutunan natin, unang-una, let us not turn away those people who are already in the vaccination site. Marami po tayong missed opportunities because some local governments were still requiring registration prior to the vaccination. So yung mga taong nagpunta na nag-walk-in, napauwi pa po sila. Na Naandun na yung opportunity for them to get vaccinated. Uh, second, also, ito pong parating namin na 15 to 17 na vaccination days again, we now will be focusing, no, aside from the rest of the population, we will now focus on the unvaccinated. Hahanapin po natin yung mga hindi pa bakunado para sila naman po mabigyan natin ng focus, especially the A2 and the A3 members of the population. Hmm. Ano po ibig sabihin ng hahanapin natin? I mean, does that mean, I mean, hahanapin to recruit or meron ba tayong mga program that actually tries to bring the, the vaccination closer to, to where they actually are living? Both, both, sir. Actually, ngayon, tinitignan na natin, ano, ano ba yung mga local governments o yung mga probinsya or areas na mabababa po ang ating mga accomplishments, especially for A2 and A3. Hmm. Diyan po magpo-focus ang ating mga volunteers para sa National Vaccination Day Part 2 sa 15 to 17. Pangalawa, titignan din po natin kung ano yung mga mechanisms that we can provide so that we can facilitate kung kailangan ng shuttle going to the vaccination site, kung kailangan puntahan yung mga matatandang hindi na makalabas ng bahay, gagawin po natin yan. What about those needing booster shots? Do we have a number as to how many of these are vaccinated already and are reaching six months and are needing booster shots? Uh, do we have have we have we determined just how many they are? Uh, well, for now, ma'am, uh, we already have accomplished around five hundred nine thousand uh, individuals who were already provided with boosters. As to the numbers, uh, we still have to consolidate. Kasi iba iba ho eh. Kapag ka AstraZeneca, yes. mas matagal. Pag Sinovac, uh, six months, malapit na kasi sila yung mga unang na-deploy natin ng mga bakuna. Meron din yung mga nabigyan ng Moderna and Pfizer no nagkaroon po tayo ng ganyang bakuna dito sa ating bansa. Nasa June na po. Kaya talagang iba-iba. So we are consolidating how much of this are to be boosted already because they already reached the six months. Uh, but, but I think kailangan din i-clarify kung gaano sila ka-at risk ba talaga and uh, why they might really need to go back to the vaccination sites for a booster. Uh, are they, I mean, more or less, are they about at the same risk level as those who are not vaccinated, just to be clear? Well, I'd just like to make it clear. When we issued our guidelines for the booster doses, we have specifically emphasized, and even the emergency use authority that was amended by food, the Food and Drug Administration, that even though we are allowing boosters for the rest of the population, we still need to prioritize. And the priorities would be, number one, the unvaccinated. Number two, partially unvaccinated. Number three would be the healthcare workers, immunocompromised individuals, and senior citizens. And the last would be the rest of the population. So having said that, with the guidelines and the amended EUA, we still are, we still are emphasizing that the unvaccinated would remain to be most important to be given the vaccines. We still have problems with syringe supply. So uh, the first young three-day vaccination days, uh, what, what were the problems that cropped up? Oh, well, that's part of it, no? Yung sa mga syringes po. Kasi ang, ang Pfizer vaccine po kasi may specific siya na type ng syringe na kailangan gamitin. Unfortunately, uh, usually po kasi pag dumadating sa atin yan, package yan with the vaccines, kasama siya. Kaya lang for this uh, latter uh, part ng mga deliveries sa atin, wala pong kasama. So we have to procure and UNICEF is helping us with that. But 
may delay pa rin po yung mga deliveries natin because of competition globally. Kaya ang ginawa po natin, we were able to uh, identify another type of syringe kung saan pareho rin naman siya magagamit din para magamit natin. So that was what was used during the National Vaccination Days at hanggang sa ngayon, yan po yung ginagamit natin. So yung susunod na vaccination days, wala nang syringe problem? Uh, meron na po tayo kasi nakuhang deliveries ano? and then there are upcoming deliveries also. So hopefully, this kind of logistical problem will not be anymore no? uh, an issue pagdating ng December 15 to 17.